again, everybody. Can you please, Christine or somebody, tell me, like, time me, please? Who is going to time me? You. Thank you. So, well, um, hello. Welcome, everyone. I'm very, very happy to be here and very honored as well. Um, my second passion in life is education, so I'm super um, humbled to be here today. Um, after listening to Marianne as a teacher, a professor, I find so many things uh, that I relate to. Um, I, I am Carolina Otero. I am from Venezuela. Um, I think the five of us have many things in common besides being Venezuela. Unlike Marianne and like uh, Lorena and Luisa, I did grow up surrounded by art, luckily. My parents were artists and uh, I did not only grow up surrounded by visual artists, but also by dancers, musicians, my sister who's here as a musician, um, uh, writers, playwrights, novelists, uh, actors, actresses, you name it. And it was a very, very rich and beautiful um, childhood and um, just um, a, a, a very rich environment to grow up at. And because things are the way they are, when I had to decide my career to go to college, I decided I would study architecture, Luisa, because I did not want to do what my parents did. <laughs> So I took one year of architecture and sure enough, I went back to my first love, which is art. I have been working my whole life. I went to art school in New York. I did my career there. And this is my only career besides teaching on the side. So I am a multidisciplinary artist. I'm, and I would like to say an explorer of different media, media, medium, and that is common to most of us here. Um, and um, I made these selections of work, which are from the last, I think, four, uh, three years, thinking that I was going to be here today. They are a way, in a way, like the little path, talking about passages, right? The little path I've been developing. And they are like some common themes, but I just want to just point out to you the different media here. So these are some prints. They are um, digital archival, digital prints and silkscreen prints. I did this with a collaborator. These are some collages. Drawing and collage have been very, very much part of my practice since the very beginning. And on the side here, there are these relief pieces um, that are made, this one in, in particular, with ceramics and they are mounted on wood. But I just closed uh, one solo show in Houston and I had a big installation made out of plaster pieces. So I've been like exploring all these different mediums and I think the theme is somewhat always the same. I'm very interested in marks, mark making, in writings. I see writings from all over the world. I'm crazy about hand writings as drawings. And sometimes I see drawings as writings. So that is this very present interest that I somewhat um, embark on all the time. Um, this pieces here, I mean the part, the left, the very light parts, are coming from um, linoleum print, and yet the composition, because these are um, prints, it's coming from collage. So I tend to like intertwine the medium and work on finished pieces. Exploring little path, I tend to work in series. On the left, I mean the left room there, no, the right room there <laughs> at, the, at the end, um, there is a um, video I did with a, a videographer artist, uh, Beatriz Bellorín, and with the music of my sister Mercedes, and I'm so happy there are two sisters here, <laughs> two musician sisters. 
and it's like a world premiere. I, I, I take that um, name from the music world. Uh, it's the first time that it's shown. I haven't shown it anywhere else, and I'm very, very pleased that it is here with you guys that uh, I'm working on that. This is um, a piece made out of 90 collages I worked on last year. And uh, my, I had a very different idea, but um, of what it would look like. I had this um, artist um, wor I'm working with, and she changed my whole idea for the better. <laughs> so it's okay, it's fine. <laughs> um, this thing of collaborating, it's been very, very much present in my last years of work. Marianne was, selling some, was saying some, something like, uh, this is a very lonely profession, and it can be, but it can also be uh, a collaborative work. And to me, working as an educator was my way to compensate that solitude, was a way to receive a lot and also give back, and was a way, Mary Omori is there, and she's nodding yes. And it was a way, yes, it's a constant um, nourishment and a reflection exercise. And I just think that is fantastic. How many minutes do I have? Four more minutes. Okay, um, there is this one thing I love about art, and not only my work, any work of art. And I think, and, and, and that is that I believe that everyone, a person, every time a person gives attention to a work of art, they are in a way recreating it because they are bringing their history, their emotions, their experience, their curiosity to the work. If this, all of this work, beautiful work was here and there were no people, the work would be, would be dead in a way. So for me, it's very enriching what I receive back. And my other show, the one that I had in, in Houston for two months, was like a um, um, tempest. It was like a very intense time of picking up all of those reactions. That it, I think that also accompanies us in a way is also being with people every time somebody says something or at least stops in front of our work. So again, I'm super happy that you are all here. Um, and I think that's it. I don't know if there is any questions or comments or thank you.